Greetings students, welcome to this lesson. We want to handle the cost benefit analysis for layers. So cost benefit analysis for layers. We shall use a sample size of 100 birds. The first item on our cost list, so we're doing costs. First item would be chicks or day old chicks, which are 100 at $1 per chick, a total of $100. You need drinkers. On average, you need one drinker to 50 birds. So you will then need, because there are 100, you need two drinkers. On average, one drinker will be $2. But since you want to use this drinker, both for the chicks and both for the mature chicken, you need to buy a drinker that is at least 7 liters, which will go for $3. So that will be $6. You will also need feeders. The same principle of one drinker, ratio 50 birds, will apply to the principle of layers, of, of feeding, sorry, feeders, which will be one feeder, ratio 50 birds. But then, in this case, the size and the type of the feeder really determines adoption of this ratio. Therefore, we can say this one is only applicable to the person who is using a bell feeder. And this bell feeder should be at least 8 kgs. So, use bell feeder of at least 8 kgs. That is the only time this ratio can apply. Failure to use this bell feeder, don't use this ratio. That's why now you can buy, since we have 100 birds, and we are going to feed them for quite some time, instead of buying two, two feeders, we can buy three. So we shall say three feeders. And since the feeder is 8 kgs, it becomes a little bit more expensive. So it will be at $4 per feeder. So it will be 4 by 3 to get $12. This is the total cost of drinkers and feeders. In this case, drinkers and feeders are the capital costs. These are costs that we shall not incur them in future. Once we buy the buds, we'll use them for a season or two before we replace them. We have chicks. We have drinkers. We have a feeder. I assume you already have a chicken coop or a chicken structure which is ready or it has the wood chippings. What do you need? You have labor. Labor is you yourself, my student. Now, what then do you need? You need feed, which is item number four. You need feed. And before you get to feed, you need medication. So item number four shall be medication or medicants. When you talk of medicants, this one shall encompass of vitamins. It shall also encompass of antibiotics if need be, although we try so much to avoid antibiotics in our production. It shall also encompass vaccines. This one is a must since we want to avoid disease as much as possible. So the cost of these three items shall be under medicants and we shall give it a round figure or an approximation. And since it's layers, being on the farm for quite an extended period of time, we shall give it an average of $90 because they'll be on the farm for a period of 72 weeks. Now, we have the four items. We go to the most crucial item that is the major cost of production. And here, Apart from just learning the cost of feed, you also get to know which feed to use at what period and what amount. I shall use averages, but there's a manual for this course that you'll get the exact feed requirement in relation to the exact age of the layer chicken. So number five, we say feed. When we talk of feed, we say, 
feed for layers is given in faces. Okay? Therefore, phase 1 is chick mash. This feed is consumed for a period of 60 days. So that is from day 1 up to day 60. On average, one chick is supposed to consume 45 grams. Therefore, we need to understand the cost that we shall incur in buying chick mash. How many bags of chick mash are we going to consume? Our chicks are 100. On average, one chick will eat 45 grams per day. So it will be 100 times 45 grams. What is the period? 60 days times 60 divided by 1000 to convert into kilos to get 270 kgs. We further convert 270 kgs into bags. One bag of chick mash equals to 50 kilos. So it will be 270 divided by 50 kilos, which equals to 5.4 bags. And therefore we say one bag of chick mash equals to, equals to $26. What about 5.4? So it will be 5.4 times 26, which is equals to $140. Point four. Therefore, we shall say chick mash equals to one hundred and forty point four dollars. We do the same for growers. Phase two is growers. One chicken will feed on an average of sixty grams per day for a period of two months, which is sixty days. Therefore, we say for 100 birds, it will be 100 times 60 grams times 60 days, which is equals to 36, 0, 0, 0, 0, 360,000 grams. We then go ahead and convert into kilos, divided by 1,000 to get 360 kilos, and then we further convert into bags since one bag equals to 50 kilos so we divide by 50 so it will be 36 divided by 5 which is equals to 7.2 bags we say one bag of growers equals to 21.75 dollars therefore 7.2 it will be 7.2 times 21.75 which is equal to one fifty six point six dollars. So growers mash shall be one fifty six point six. We are left with one face, and that's why now we say doing a cost benefit analysis of layers is quite lengthy. By the time our chicks finish the fourth month, they'll be at point of lay. They start consuming on layers mash. They will consume layers mash for an extended period that would last for 72 up to week 72. So, we can only do our estimated cost of production up to the fourth month, which shall be $100 plus 6 plus 12 plus $90, plus 140 plus 156 as our total cost of production. It becomes tricky or difficult for us to do here on board the cost-benefit analysis of layers since a bird shall be fed on a different amount of feed on every week as it keeps increasing. Vis-a-vis the production of your bird is at percentage level, and that's why, as we were in the previous lessons that we had, we discussed the egg curve. But now, I discuss the, the cost-benefit analysis of layers in details in the manual for this course. So by that, going through the manual, then you can understand that by getting to a certain stage, you would have made this amount of returns. By getting to a certain age, you'd have made this amount of returns. Okay? So we can assume that 
our birds are now at four months. By the time our birds are at four months, you see, they will not, they will only have started laying at 0.05%, which is an average of one egg per day. So I'll be lying to you, my student, by telling you that by the fourth month, this is the amount of money you'd have made. But I can say from experience, you will recoup your money by having your birds attain week 56. This is a very easy example. When the birds are at point of lay, when you get to this cost of 156, our chicken have already been fed for a period of 16 weeks. So if they are fed for 16 weeks, they are shy by 20 weeks to get to peak production. Now, at week 28, they'll be laying 90%. But at week 25, they'll be laying 30%. At week 56, they'll be laying 94%. So by having all these figures, it is difficult or it's next to impossible for me to compute all that work here on the board. But it's very easy for me to compute it for you on the manual. Then you can go through it, dissect and understand it better.